In this corner, TV.com on location from Canastota, New York, and the 2011 International Boxing Hall of Fame. Welcome to In This Corner TV.com, brought to you by Tecate, Cerveza Con Caracter. Smitty here in Canastota, New York, at the International Boxing Hall of Fame, day three. As you see, they're breaking things down in preparation for tomorrow's induction ceremonies. We had a great day today. We had the opportunity to speak with legendary, the professor, Azuma Nelson, one of the great fighters from Accra, Ghana. Also, Sergio Martinez, one of the great fighters of today, who hopes to be enshrined here someday in Canastota. We also spoke to George. Shivalo, one of the toughest guys in the history of boxing, 93 fights, never off his feet, and he fought the likes of, how about uh, Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, and George Foreman, just to mention a few. We also did some great in-ring segments with Aaron Pryor and Irish Mickey Ward. Ar Arguello hit, pro hit, hit Sharon with the right hand, and your hands, your head snapped back, and what happened? I saw, I saw everything. I saw the stars, I saw the moon. There is a moon over Miami. I even saw God. I mean, I saw everything when he hit me there, and then when I came back down, he was ready to hit me again, and, uh, he, and uh, he missed. That's, oh, my goodness. 14th and final round of that fight. You back him up, you hit him with a combination, he backs against the ropes. Show us how you finished off Alexis Arguello with 20 straight punches at least. Yeah, well, here we are, here we are in the 14th round in the Owens Bowl. It's hot, 100 degrees. We're in the 14th round, and I'm, I'm mad. I'm still mad. Cause, so I come in with I come in with a will. I come in with a boom. I call him over here right. He went to back to the ropes. I come ready and boom, 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 boom. Which that's what I used to do. But what a great champion. I mean, you know, 15 rounds is a long time. Hooks. Hooks to the body are something that usually it's a, with guys, it's a, you know, hook to the body, hook to the head. Right. And you did that pretty, pretty well. But right. you, you also mastered, you know, head, body. body. And I bet something I uh, right. Arturo Gotti found out in round number nine. Right, yeah. First fight. I, well, I wish he stood down, but he didn't. <laughs> But I, what I would do is I would, I would actually be out here, and when I'd get in, I'd kind of switch. So when I'd be inside with you, I, I would tap, I'd be in, don't be backing up now. All right. <laughs> 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 I'd tap right here, so your hand come up, you bring your hand up, and I'd boom. I'd tap here, bring your hand up, and I'd, right in the liver. Once your hand goes up, I'd, boom, right there. I thought, I thought you told me you hated liver. I do hate it, but <laughs> I like to hit it. <laughs> Where do you rank yourself among the top fighters in the world? Oh, segundo. Number two. Number two, who's number one? Pacquiao is number one. Would you, would you like to fight Manny Pacquiao? I currently think you're just way too big for him, but would you like to fight him? Oh, yeah, sí, pero soy muy grande para Pacquiao. Yeah, but it's, I'm too big for Pacquiao. I could see a scenario, though, where, where you could actually step up and challenge, for example, the winner of the, of the Super 6 tournament. You certainly could go up to a uh, buck 68. He cannot understand what everybody asks him that question when it's only a middleweight. It's not a super middleweight. But everyone asks him the same question, and the, the response is, I'm a middleweight champion. Nice to hear that, that somebody actually fights within a weight division and stays within a weight division. Por lo menos por ahora sí. Uh, for now, this is what I expect, to stay in, in my division. What are you doing uh, these days? I understand you're involved in a, in a number of uh, charitable causes uh, back home. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, the charity, key, charity things is, is in me. When, since I was young, that's what I've been doing. You know, and I'm praying that one day I'll get the money to help them. And uh, God gave, opened a chance for me to become a world champion, to make a lot of money to help them. And, and when I'm helping people, it makes me so happy. It makes me joy. It makes me strong. You know, so I'm always looking for money to, to do what I know how to do best. 
is given. Here's the compliment, the best one I can give you. And it came from Rocky Marciano, I heard, who, who once said, if all fights were scheduled for 50 rounds, you, George Chevalo, would have been undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, that was a pretty nice compliment. Uh, yeah, it was like, well, I, I think stamina was one of my strong points, so. Touching on that, uh, I spoke to uh, so, so many fighters over the years, and I, I believe the chin, power, and, and stamina are all, even though you can work on them, are God-given talents. I suppose so. I mean, I, I mean, there are reasons why certain people can run faster, why certain people are, are stronger. You know, like you know, body types dictate that. And uh, and as far as taking a punch is concerned, the shorter the neck you have, the better off. You have a neck, a long neck like a stack of dimes. You know, what I mean, you're not going to take a shot. You know, it's just your brain will reverberate too too much. And uh, and but if you have a short neck and you work on your shoulder girdle. If you strengthen that, your neck area, your shoulder girdle area, you're better off. If you chew a lot of bubble gum and uh, drop your jaw muscles. If you have a fairly large head, if you have a slim, I guess, head or a, a small head, it works against you, I guess, as, you know, in terms of taking a punch. Um, you know, your bone structure, the bigger the bone structure or the heavier the bone structure, the better off you are, you know. So I've been kind of lucky in, in those and uh, uh, in those parts of my body, because I have a short neck, I have a fairly large head, and I think that stands me in good stead as far as taking the shots.